guys, um, I'm just going to try out some new lighting, new location, new camera. Um, because I recently got an iPod and I will show you it now without blinding you. This is my new iPod. I um, don't really have a stand for it, but um, I recently got it for my birthday for my mother and it's the new one that has the two-sided camera or whatever so you can do FaceTime. But I thought it would be good for filming hauls or I'm going to start doing some vlogs. So um, I'm not long, well I got in from work a couple of hours ago but I've had like school work and little errands I've had to run so I couldn't film this but I have a really kind of big-ish collective haul um, to do. I've like picked up bits everywhere and I'm just going to pick them up, it's not going to go in any particular random or in any particular order but from work um, I got these were when we had the sale still in our store. I bought these mittens. Got that and they're the ones that just like you got fingers. But I thought these are quite thin compared to the other ones. I bought two pairs. And these are quite thin so I thought I can just throw these in my bag for kind of all year round and they're thin enough to keep my hands warm if it's a little bit chilly but not thick enough for me to be like sweating. And they just look like that, it's not for probably probably good image when I put my watch on but yeah you'll have to excuse my nails as well they're like really badly chipped and painting them tomorrow and these were £3.60 then the other pair most of the gloves I think it was for £3.60 these style and then because it's been really badly chilly here and like foggy and we've been due snow in my area and it just never came so um, I got these really thick mittens and they're like kind of a cream, like a dull cream if that makes any sense. It's not like, yeah, you know it makes sense. And it's just like a really chunky knit and then it's really, really warm. And I love to have these on because I love to drink like tea and stuff. I have a travel mug and I love to take that with me. Um, so these were 360 as well. And then I got one of these really big snoods and it's a really chunky knit one um, and this was about £5, I think £5.40 um, and it's really big and it's just really big and comfy and warm and I just love it because one of my coats is quite open at the neck there, it's like um, a deep V so it's quite, it can get quite chilly um, and I also got when I was getting them, I got this bag that um, I am using as a school bag, so I will do a what's in my school bag um, video, but I, today I just used it as a handbag and it just looks like that, um, and it just has a couple of pockets inside, and um, that should be £32, but because I work for them I get discount obviously, so it was only 16 I think. <coughs> So I'm going to start with the thing that's next to me and then I've got bags on the floor and one thing in front of me. So I went yesterday shopping with my mum because she's ever so kind and my little brother's gone to Paris so she th thought she'd treat me. Um, and she, we were in Primark and I needed a new coat, like just a kind of thinner one than I've already got but thick enough to keep me warm but I wanted one that was quite nice and quite one of the ones I could kind of wear all seasons. And like I could wear it if like I had a meal or something to go to. So this one she picked me up. I originally picked this out in um, before Christmas I think when it was still like new season or whatever. But these were actually gone into the sale, so this should have been thirty-five pounds, and it went down to ten, which I was like, oh my god. So it's quite a high neckline like that, and it goes all the way up with a button there. Um, I never wear it like that, I probably only button up to like this second one here and I'll leave that open otherwise I look a bit too weird with it. And it's camel coloured and it's got like a wine colour at the bottom of the cuffs, the um, jacket and then the little bits that cinch it in at the back is wine coloured. But it's got all like dots and everything to cinch it into place and it looks really nice because it cinches in at the waist and then flares out slightly which I really really like. Um, and then I'll show you what else I got in Primark. So you have to excuse me because there's going to be a lot of bending down to that area because it's all here. Um, now what I got was I needed new pyjama bottoms because I got a load of shorts for Christmas. 
Although I've just realised something I should be showing you is over there. Um, ah! I got a lot of shorts for Christmas. Like short sets for Christmas. Because it wasn't Christmassy cold. It was quite mild here. And I'm used to like below zero temperatures and everything. So it didn't bother me. But my room for some reason my radiator is broke. Like um, we've got the heating on full at the moment. And it's barely warm my radiator so i think it probably means bleeding or something i don't know some technical term i do not have a clue to do with and um, so until i like <laughs> get someone come fix that for me i have about a massive thick quilt another quilt on top like a single one and then i have two blankets and my snuggie to keep me warm because i love to be warm and then i got well my mum got me these pants they're just basic at the bottom and then i thought this was so cute on the little pockets it's got ruchin detail and then it's got like a nice bow and these are five pounds so I just really like them and they're just from the love to lounge range and I'm actually going to take them out of the bag while I'm here because otherwise I'll put them back in the bag and they'll just stay there in my, in my room in the bag and then I got some of these and I do have the big boots these ones that I am wearing these were from Primark these were like from years ago and I've loved them that much and taken that good care they've lasted me till now but I wanted some like little kind of like slippers but I wanted them to be like kind of like ballerina flats Um, so these were 150 reduced to a pound I don't know why Um, but yeah they just got like a little bow because I like to keep my feet warm because I don't wear socks to bed so when I get up in the morning to make like a cup of tea um or go like the bathroom, my bathroom, my kitchen and my living room. My bathroom and kitchen are tiled and my living room's laminate so it's quite cold in the morning. So then I got these two as a kind of matching set. This was in the sale and I thought this would be great and it's a thermal cami but I just thought it was so cute. It's got like a nice blue pattern on it and then blue lace around there and how much was it? five pounds reduced to two so i thought come on for two quid i can't really pass it up and then the pants i got to go with it with these ones and they're just blue and white checked with like a gold not gold a silver i think you can see it there a silver thread running through it it's got a nice bow and it's actually i didn't realize this till i bought them they're actually cinched at the bottom which should be fine it should keep me warmer anyway which I'm not too bothered about and these were five pounds as well I'm not bothered about paying like five quid for a pair of jammy bottoms because I really do get my wear out them and then I got this wallet for my little brother because when he went to Disneyland we found out he doesn't actually own a wallet so I bought him this one it was only like four quid and it's chocolate like really dark chocolate brown on the outside well I thought this was so cute bright orange interior and it's got just all the usual pockets you need and then this is the thing um, I kind of wanted to show everyone I haven't put my jewellery in it yet but what it is is when I was in there I was looking at the handbag organisers because I'd seen them and was like hmm I don't really that probably won't fit in my bag because it's got a middle section and I see in these next one and yes you've read that right it's a jewellery organiser so you can actually hang it's got the little hangy thing doesn't like rotate so you couldn't like hang it on the side of your wardrobe or on the back of your door you actually, I think you actually have to hang it in your wardrobe but I just thought this was a good idea these are only £3 and you get 32 of these little pockets and 16 of these big ones so I'm going to get two um, well I'm going to get another one and have one for my accessorise well my work jewellery and then one for my just usual jewellery because I can only wear accessories and one-seam jewellery and I'm in work and I can only wear in season and it's double sided so I can put all my like old season accessorised jewellery on one side and then all the current season and just flip them over or whatever so yeah and if you don't believe me these are actually £3 and you can get them in cream you can get them in pink but they don't do them in any other colours so I might get another cream one I might get a cream one or I might get another pink one just depending on what I feel like 
and that is everything I got from Primark so I'm not oh it seems to be continuing so I'm going to carry on <laughs> I thought they cut off after 10 minutes and then I went to Smosh obviously this has been a couple of days and I went in because I needed a new face wash really because my I don't know if you can see it but all there has been like you can see I've got a massive one there and um, all my skin like there particularly has been playing up but like all my cheeks here have been getting really really dry but um, I have a really nice moisturising face um, moisturiser I have a vitamin E moisture lotion from um, the body shop but when I went in said I needed a new face wash and told her everything she said try angels on bare skin but they were sold out and I said oh well I need a face wash today is there anything else you can recommend me because I don't really want to traipse around Superdrug or anything I prefer to use stuff like Lush or the body shop on my face and I didn't know where the body shop was in Liverpool and um, so she recommended this one to me and it's Fresh Pharmacy and I did get a sample of this at one point and this is oops sorry sorry guys this is the £5.49 chunk so it just kind of looks like oh it looks like a little heart if you like didn't that in looks like a little heart so yeah I haven't used that because I have a tiny smidgen left in my um of my St. Ives scrub so and then I got two other items while I was in there one of them I got because I was running out of it and I needed some more because I like to cocktail with it quite a bit actually to be fair and the other I got because I hadn't had it in a while and I love it and this is the one I hadn't had in a while and it's Sex Bump I love their wrappers by the way it's all green and pink and they seem smaller to be fair the wrappers but they seem thicker which is nice so yeah I got Sex Bomb and it just says bath ballistic drop into a pre-run bath the sensual pink fizzy jasmine scented soak and I just love the smell of it. I'm not actually going to open it yet because because it's a thick bag. I'm going to keep it in here for now and see. Like they've been in there. They've been in the bag since the 30th of January. So nearly over half a month now and they've been fine. So that sex bomb, bath bomb was £3.10. And then I got a comforter just because I love the smell of it and I love the cocktail and I love um, it's good price wise because you get so many baths out of it which I just think is really really good so I got this and it was £4.15 and I will probably get about 8 baths out of it I've still got about that much left of my old one so I've still got 2 baths after my old one but I didn't know if I'd like use up before I next got paid so I just got another one to be safe and it says rapture in a fluffy pink blanket of blackberry bubbles to keep you safe and warm under, under running bath water for man's fragrant bubbles so yeah I got that and that is pretty much everything I got I'm going to do a separate haul because I got some sportswear but I'll tell you more about that in the video um, so I know I've been gone for a long long time but I hope you enjoyed this video guys and stay tuned for my next one which is going to be all my fitness stuff and I bought a couple of books as well but I'll just include them in this the fitness haul and um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time bye guys